what's up YouTube today I'll show you guys how to change your car's engine oil by yourself with few simple tools this video is tailored towards beginners who never done oil change before and wants to learn the step-by-step -step process this will also help the people who wants to specifically know the process of how to change oil in the s550 Mustangs from 2015 to 2020 model years okay so here where we need to start this process specific engine oils and filters later on i'll show you guys which one to get and where to get them from uh, you guys will also need paper towels funnel uh, oil catch pan and the ramps now you guys can definitely use jack and jack stand but in my case, I like to use RAM for oil change. This is a socket sets. You will need to grab the small ratchet and a 15 millimeter socket for this specific oil change. For your car, it might be a different socket. You will need to go under the car and try out different sockets with the oil drain plug, as you can see in the picture, and see which one fits. In order to find out how much oil you will need along with what type and viscosity, you will need to go to your car manual which is located in your gloves compartment. Look into the capacities and specification section. Mine says under 2.3 liter EcoBoost, the engine would require 6 quarts or 5.67 liter of oil. On the next page it shows, I need Motorcraft SAE 5W30 premium synthetic blend motor of oil. Let me show you guys how to find the filter online. Go to AutoZone.com, put in the year, make, model, engine info for the car, and it will show you all compatible oil filters options. Now, finding the oil online is much more simpler. Go to Google or Amazon.com uh, and search for Motocraft 5W30 synthetic oil or whatever type of oil it says on your manual. Buy the correct amount. I ended up buying 12 quart single container because it was cheap. Before changing the oil, it's always good to check the current engine oil level and its quality. Open the engine oil cap and take out the dipstick. First time when you take out the dipstick, just wipe it down with napkin. Second time, check the oil. Look at the bottom of the dipstick and check the color of the oil. If the color of the oil is black or charcoal, then the oil is getting bad. Also, if the oil is not in between those two holes as is shown in the video, then it indicates that either the engine is flooded with oil or it does not have enough. In order to lift up the car, we need to get the ramps ready. Place the ramps underneath the car right in front of both tires. Make sure the tires are right in the middle of the ramps. Drive up the car onto the ramp very slowly. If the tires are protruding out the ramps, then this uneven distribution of force might cause the ramps to deform and collapse. So try to place the tires correctly in the middle of the ramp, as is shown in the video right now. Don't forget to put the emergency brake on and also place a wheel chalk behind the rear wheel. Keep the engine cap in slightly open position before draining the oil so it comes out smoother. Use the ratchet and 15mm socket to open the drain plug of the pan. If it does not come out easily, then you can apply sudden force at the bottom of the ratchet to loosen out the plug as shown in the video. You can also use the breaker bar to loosen up the part. Now slowly unscrew the bolt until the oil start dripping from the pan. Hold the bolt until it reaches at the end of the thread. Right at that moment, take out the bolt in one shot so it does not spill on you. Let it drain for 15 to 20 minutes. Start wiping down the drain plug before putting it back onto the pan. Also try to get a bigger catch pan because it might overflow or it would not cover the entire area and spill over as is shown in the video. Removing oil filter could be difficult, especially if the last person who changed the filter tightened it up too hard with the tool. You can use an oil filter wrench, just like the ones is shown in the pictures, to easily loosen the filter, but I do not have any, so I had to use my own hand. After putting some effort, I loosen the filter. To avoid oil spill, make sure the oil catch pan is relocated and placed right underneath the filter. Let the oil drain from the filter housing for another 5 to 10 minutes. At this time, we can prep the new filter by pouring the new synthetic oil into it. Don't install empty filter because the engine would not have access to oil right away when start off for the first time after the oil change is done. So I like to put some fresh oil into the filter before installing it. Also, it's very important to lubricate the gasket with little bit of oil. Make sure to use fresh gloves, dip one finger into the oil and go around the gasket as is shown in the video and this will make the gasket super easy to come off the next time you change the filter. Now it's time to install the drain plug back into the oil drain pan. Use hand to screw the bowl back into the pan. Then use the ratchet to tighten it up. 
don't tighten it too hard because you might cross thread the oil drain pan. That will be an expensive repair. You are only supposed to use 15 pound of force to tighten the bolt with ratchet. Now installing the filter is super easy. Hold the filter vertically upward and slowly insert into the filter housing. Start turning clockwise and only tighten it by hand. Don't use any tool for this. After that, clean up the area. Here's the close-up shot of the area around the filter and the drain plug after cleaning. Clean the oil cap thoroughly before pouring the new oil. This will prevent from any source of contamination. Place the funnel into the engine and start feeding the engine this new synthetic oil. I learned if you place the container sideways, then it pours much faster and smoother. You can also leave the quart uh, into the funnel towards the end. In my case, I have to pour all six quarts of synthetic oil into my engine. For you guys, it might be a bit different. Make sure to check back with your car manual to verify how much quarts your engine would require. Now, after done pouring the oil, uh, put back the engine oil cap. Now, before moving forward, let's bring the car down off the ramp in a flat surface. Now, let's check the engine oil by taking out the dipstick. This is to make sure that the engine have enough oil in it. When you take out the dipstick for the first time, you clean it with the napkin and put it right back into the engine. On the second time around, when you take out the dipstick, you can check the oil level and the quality of it. It is very hard to see when you put a brand new synthetic oil in it. But if you look close enough, you can see that the oil level is in between the two holes or the dots. If it goes below the bottom dot, then your engine does not have enough oil to operate. And if it goes above the upper dot, then it probably flooded the engine. It needs to be somewhere in the middle. I prefer my oil to stay up close to the upper dot. For better results, go drive the car for 10 to 15 minutes, then check the oil again. Visually, you can see that the oil is above the midpoint and closer to the upper dots, and it has goldish color, which is perfect. You might be wondering what to do with the oil you just extracted from the engine. Well, you could just use the empty container to fill up with the old oil and bring it to Autotone or Pep Boys to dispose of them. Now, let me show you guys how to reset the oil life meter in Mustang. Although I do not have the sign, but let's just go along with it. Go down to the main menu, scroll down to the settings, then press vehicle, then press OK to oil life reset. Hold OK button for 3 to 4 seconds to reset the percentage of oil life and you're done. In order to clean the oil catch pan and the funnel, all you need is any type of dishwasher fluid and the grease will come right off. You should do this outside, but I don't have access to water where I park, so I just do it here. I hope this video helped you guys to learn something new today. I tried my best to be as detailed as possible. If you guys have any questions related to oil change for any cars, then please don't hesitate. Just ask in the comments below. I will try my best to answer any question. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.